We are delivering the ArcGIS Maps SDK as a developer product that integrates with the two market-leading game engines, Unity and Epic's Unreal Engine. The ArcGIS Maps SDK for Unity and the ArcGIS Maps SDK for Unreal Engine are currently available in beta. They're distributed as plugins, and they provide components and APIs to access ArcGIS services and local data. Currently, data sources include ArcGIS raster tile layers, scene layers, and elevation layers, and we'll add support for more ArcGIS data sources in the future. Now, this work is founded on support for local and global 3D experiences through a scene which provides the context to display and interact with geospatial data and honor real-world coordinate space. Now, the ArcGIS Maps SDK beta program has been open to the public for over a year now, and it's been incredibly successful. Our second beta was released back in February. Currently, we have over 2,500 participants, many actively engaged in the community, prototyping solutions, and providing feedback to our development team. And we've seen a few trends in the beta program over the last year. So far, interest in Unity and Unreal Engine is equal. In many cases, customers are evaluating both and keeping their options open. In addition, there's a wide variety of new and experienced developers in the program. It's also interesting to note that many participants, about 60%, intend to build an extended reality solution, an AR or VR experience. This makes sense as game engines are uniquely tailored to power extended reality experiences that target a wide variety of devices. Now, we're also seeing pervasive interest in the use of geospatial data in game engines across many industries, including, but not limited to, AEC, defense, government, natural resources, utilities, transportation, and education. It's exciting to see and hear some of the great ideas and opportunities in these sectors. Again, the beta program is open to the public today. If you haven't already, we invite you to join. Sign up now using the URL specified here. Now, with that in mind, I'd like to show a video of some of the research and development efforts we've embarked on here at Esri, which have focused on exercising the unique capabilities of game engines with geospatial data and context provided by the ArcGIS Maps SDK. Now, here we see the crisp and quick photorealistic display of ArcGIS platform base map imagery and elevation in a global flyover experience. We can also fly through the landscape, in this case, the Grand Canyon, for a ground level experience that shows topography and water and combines with light and atmospheric effects from the game engine. Now, game engine developers work with custom shaders to deliver more advanced visualization. And as a developer using a custom shader, you can accentuate geospatial data coming through the ArcGIS Maps SDK to draw out edges of the landscape and combine with operational information for a more compelling experience. Likewise, we can customize the look and feel of landscapes for an artistic experience. We can see the original data on the right and the artistic impression of Van Gogh on the left. These visual changes and enhancements are applied dynamically at runtime. So here we're using a custom shader on the fly to apply contrast and color to render a height map of buildings in downtown New York City. Or we could use another shader to detect, render, and highlight edges of those same buildings. Now, as the ArcGIS Maps SDK exposes structures, surfaces, and meshes of geospatial data to a game engine, we can interact with them to determine things like location and measure slope, height, and distance. Or we can deliver a lifelike simulation experience, in this case, showing movement of vehicles and pedestrians interacting in a cityscape. And finally, in this last demo, we show a compelling visualization that simulates what a drone delivery experience might be like in an urban setting, modeling flight paths from a drone hive and detecting potential collisions and adjusting movements on the fly. So those are some great examples of compelling visualizations that we've been working on in-house.